Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Chandra Lynn and this is going to be your general reading. It's for whenever it resonates with you. It's August right now. So um, yeah, if it resonates, amazing, wonderful. Take what, you know, take what you will. Discard anything that doesn't resonate with you. Um, yeah, and we'll get started. Um, when I was reflecting on your sign, I was like, you know, what Sagittarius is going through right now? And, um, like, it was like music all of a sudden, like, you know, um, Sagittarius wants to party. Sagittarius wants to get their freak on. Like, um, <laughs> where, where does Sagittarius need to start a protest to, you know, get their, get their freak on kind of in a sense, which, yeah, <laughs> sounds so backwards. Ooh, there it is. Okay. Adventure. All right. Adventure. Yeah, because that's what I, I'm feeling. I'm feeling like looking to go have some fun, looking to relax, looking just to let loose. Like that is what the energy that I am really picking up on, like. Ready to have some fun, ready to hang out, ready to be like up in some, you know, just like we're going to protest not being able to party by partying for the protest. Whoever was thinking of that, yeah, so there you go. I'm going to I'm going to pull out some ancestor and angel cards really quick to see what their messages are for you as they are helping you transition through this adventure time of wanting to get your freak on. So you got shapeshifter, transform, and unveil, unveil your gifts. Like, yeah, because I can speak correctly. And then you also got the high priest, intend and create. Um, Yeah, um, okay, oh, they speak a lot, you guys, okay, so, yeah, like, um, back to saying, like, uh, throwing a p protest, a protest, throwing a, yeah, pro, uh, I can speak. Throwing a protest to protest no partying and having a party as the protest. Like shape-shifting the energy to transform it into exactly what it is that you are desiring. And then you got the high priest over here with intent and create. And what he is... Take it how it resonates, y'all. But what he is saying is... Um, Like, with everything else not making sense, like, you know, there's this going on, there's that going on, whatever this is for you, um, it's like, um, it's almost like becoming aware, like, just plowing right through the BS, um, there's something very powerful about this energy and, and it's almost, um, 
like you hear of like something that happens in like a small trickle, like it just starts and it starts really small and it's a trickle, 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 trickle. Um, whatever, and something's like, yeah, an eyelash or something in my right eye. Um, you there is action. Okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and shuffle these cards for a past, present, future pool with the energy going on for you right now, Sagittarius. Because it's almost like you want a party, and you're you're gonna party. There's there's gonna be a party. Sagittarius is throwing a party. However, that you know resonates. You're throwing you're throwing a party. Like you have the power. And you're you're intending and you're creating and you know what you're going to do what the rest of the world is doing like oh you think you can shape shift all of this around well watch this because you know like i'm pretty good at it is what sagittarius is saying like you know right. past present future to help With what you are. <laughs> it's okay. What else I'm being shown with this shapeshifter energy, right? Okay. So you see, there's like, you know, the eagle feathers, the snake in the background, kind of um, looking all etheric and source-like energy, and the wolf, and the man, and, you know, he's already in this transformation, his eyes are all different, and that is like the Sagittarius energy, right? And because of, because of where, where the energies outside of you are, are at right now and you're going through all of this shape shifting at once because you're like I'm gonna find the right angle and then boom you're you're in and it's not a trickle trickle it's like like you know um yeah it's 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 fast like opening up a faucet fast not a trickle this, this is going to be fast. And what I'm showing is that the shape shifting has got like other energies kind of like, whoa, whoa. Like there is this sense of wanting to, in a sense, control the energy you are in. But at the same time, almost like there's this, it would be your energy of being untouchable. But to them, it's more along the fear. It, it, um, duality there's this fear this is your the past card um so the shape shifting also indicates you balancing out your your duality right you coming more into a your balance coming more into you know a perfect sagittarius balance um and what i want to say is that the shape shifting going on is absolutely amazing for those that you know. Um, whoa, yeah, well, I'll do them all. Okay, so you got forgiveness as well. Let's get these all out. Oh, and then you got truth with the eagle, you got teaching. Also, what the teaching card is telling me is that you're really teaching those that you're unaware that you are teaching. They're covertly like watching you and paying attention because they've got this feeling inside them as well. And they're just like, oh, they don't know what to do. But there's when they when they see you and they see you like, you know, basically getting your freak on like because, you know, this energy is new. It, like you're just you're trying it out in a sense. It. It resonates with them in the sense and it gives them clarity and it takes away the fear for them of, you know, doing their own shape shifting, which is beautiful for the others that are in the sense of wanting to control. 
wanting to control the situation, wanting to control how others behave or react in the situation. Um, it's really going to be fearful for them in the sense that they choose for it to be fearful for them because they are coming, they are coming from an intention of control, um, which is malicious in nature when you want to control others or what they do outside of yourself. Um, so that fear is part of your duality. It's part of your boundaries. It's a part of respecting yourself and upholding how you respect yourself. It's like, that's unacceptable. That's crossing a boundary. And, you know, if they keep coming at you, oh, healing energy. See, yes, this is, this is a very healing energy. And especially for those that are, are watching you, you know, um, in perception. Perception. I'm going to move these down so that way I can see them better here and check, check my time. What you got on the bottom of the deck was reunion of souls. Okay. So ooh, what I am, what I am picking up on is somebody is actually going to approach you and they're going to be grateful for the craziness of whatever it was that you you went through, and that's kind of what they they show me that you view it as is like, oh, this was kind of like a craziness, but now you're at this new firm, solid foundation of Sagittarius with all this craziness was an amazing transformation in in embodying this high priest energy in a sense, and now that you're in this new energy, it. You're fearless, and so you're going on this adventure, but you yearn to have, like, that party. You want to get your freak on. You want to be, you want to, you want to celebrate. You want to celebrate a reunion of souls. You want to celebrate this new form transformation. You want to, you know, like, yeah, break loose in a sense. So, okay, so you came into balance with your duality. This makes so much more sense to me now. Thank you. Okay. So you're coming in, you came into your duality. These are your, your past, right? And you doing that, you were teaching, right? You were teaching yourself, but that teaching also like anybody who, um, mentorism in a sense, like some, like there were energies watching you and they're going to, move forward on their own path by um, example of you. That's beautiful. It's like a little special bonus, you know, bonus. Like you did great for yourself, but you did amazing for others. And then it's amazing to know that others like, you know, decided, hey, I can, I can make this step too. All right. So then what you've got in this now energy is this forgiveness. So you are you are balancing your forgiveness in your duality thing. It's, um, um, I want to say bitter, bittersweet in the sense, because this change, this shape shifting requires to shed quite a bit, you know? Um, but it's very healing and energy, right? Like, oh, it's so transformative. All right. So, Oh, okay. So you're going through this forgiveness energy and this healing energy right now. And it kind of looks like an, uh, a seed, right? So, um, it might've felt like you were in the darkness for a, a, a little bit, like in not understanding it, but you're sprouting, right? Like, oh yeah, that's what, you know, um, yeah, you're sprouting, um, you getting your freak on, like you're, you know, you're growing all over the place. The healing, um, section for whatever this situation is for you is fixing, you know, it's in the present, it's in the now, it's what you're experiencing right now. So there's this forgiveness for yourself going on. There's this forgiveness for all others, in a sense. Really, the only important thing for you is to forgive yourself. Like, the rest of it will clear itself out. You just really need to be kind to yourself and allow yourself to, you know, know that you are fixing to sprout. Like, you are fixing to be, like, what, you've already sprouted, but for this 
experience, for this situation, whatever it is for you, it's going through a transformation. It is starting a new cycle. And with that new cycle directly coming up is the truth with this new perspective, right? And you see you got the balance really good there with the duality. You've got the, the vine growing up on the top and you got the three leaves on the bottom with the truth. So what that tells me with the three leaves, I always see them as like um, having, you know, love for yourself knowledge and your wisdom, and then allowing all three of them to cooperate with one another and then just, you know, spinning beautifully all over the place, creating, you know, starting parties, obviously. Um, reunion of souls. Um, that is what it's going to feel like. That's what this party is going to feel like. It's going to feel like a comforting coming back, um, being able to let loose and be yourself. Um, reunion of souls. So Sagittarius, that is your reading. I really hope it resonated. And if it didn't, I really hope you clicked off by now. And um, thank you so much for the likes and the subscribes. Thank you for balancing the energy if it resonates to do so. If you feel it now, the link is below. I really appreciate it. I will be opening up my personal readings again soon. I should have that probably posted sometime next week. So other than that, I hope you have fun on your adventure. Love you.